Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to come on here to talk about a few articles that I've seen from uh, Canadian newspaper outlets and it's actually um, a little bit of psychological warfare. So I've studied a lot of propaganda in uh, mainly Nazi and USSR. So I understand what's happening and I'm seeing it kind of replicate here in Canada. So I just wanted to share that with you today because as these articles keep being bombarded at us, it's sometimes hard to know which are pieces of propaganda. Almost nothing is journalism anymore. So if, if you bet propaganda on pretty much any piece, you're, you're right. But I'll just show you how at this point um, we've turned it over to forms of psychological warfare. And right now... Um, there's two main components, the hypocrisy and the blame game that is happening. And right now it's being done at higher levels of the government, but it, it's going to futurely trickle down to us. So I just want to talk about these two aspects first, and we are going to start with the hypocrisy. So you've seen all these articles coming out. The CBC ran a really big one, and that's the one that I'm, I'm using for this video today. But they're blaming people. Um, sorry, they're, they're showing out the hypocrisy of people who have traveled after they've told us that we can't travel and um, the the whole goal behind that piece that that propaganda piece because it's clearly propaganda in the sense that they've done all the right elements they've picked somebody from each party each of the big parties so conservative uh, liberal and NDP in Canada because they don't want you to hate one party specifically they don't want you as the person the citizen to go oh man, those liberals always traveling when they tell us that we can't. They're doing it from one from each party that way. You don't hate one party. You're just like, oh, those politicians. So on the surface, it looks like, oh, they're traveling. But that is actually a piece of propaganda that is a warning to anybody who works from the government, for the government, sorry, or anybody who is like an MP or a, a member of parliament, right? Basically... The, the, the Canadian propaganda arm is actually afraid that these politicians, through their, hypocr their hypocrisy of traveling after banning us from doing that, is going to blow the cover on the fact that COVID is just a Trojan horse at this point. So clearly these politicians, by traveling, are not concerned about COVID. Because if you were, if you're really concerned, you're not going to actually book something right now. So you're not that concerned. So these politicians have proved that they're not concerned and they're going to go and, and travel internationally during a pandemic and and that's supposed to be fine. But now they've been caught. Some of them have been caught. I'm sure there's many more that we still don't even know about yet, but they've been caught. And the, the government, the, the whoever the committee of propaganda in Canada, whoever decided to publish that article, because it was an active decision, um, they decided to publish a warning to everybody else who works for the government because they don't want this cover to be blown. They don't want you to figure out that the politicians already know that this COVID thing is over uh, dramatized. Um, they don't want you to know that, but they want to keep this active so they can keep taking your freedoms, right? So COVID is the Trojan horse for a, a big grab of power right now that governments are trying to do. Oof, my lighting is going, eh? I'm by the window here, guys, and I don't have my other lights <laughs> set up. I thought I could do this before the sun went down. I gotta hurry up or I will have no light. <laughs> It'll be a video in the dark. You'll have to guess what I look like. Anyways, okay, um, the second article, so I'm linking the first article down here. You can go and check it out. But it's really the hypocrisy, but that article's goal is really to... Um, warn people who work for the government to not travel so that their cover isn't blown. The cover of COVID's not as bad as we thought, um, and we're using it to take the to take lockdowns, to impose lockdowns, and further shut small businesses and stuff like that. They don't want that cover to be blown, so they are actually going out there and punishing publicly people for their hypocrisy. So that one is a message from the the, the, the main propaganda um, sources in Canada over to the rest of the government of Canada and provincial governments saying, don't travel or don't get caught traveling because you're all going to blow our cover. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Okay, the second one is the blame game. This one is another kind of piece of psychological warfare against you this time. It's a... Uh, it's, um, propaganda as well. It's going to enable a lot of people to do the reporting on neighbors, you know, the snitching. So this one is an article that I saw where there is a bunch of doctors that are now blaming people who gathered during the holidays 
for future rises in COVID. So it hasn't happened yet, but they are thinking that because people defied the orders, those awful people who just wanted to see their, their family for Christmas, how dare they? They are going to go in, obviously I was sarcastic there guys, don't clip that <laughs> and think I flipped to the liberal side. Um, but yeah, they think that um, that those people are gonna cause a huge rise in COVID cases coming up. So it hasn't happened yet. No empirical proof that that's even gonna be a problem, but yet they're already blaming Canadian citizens for the spread of COVID. So we're not blaming the politicians for the spread of COVID, the same politicians that were traveling. The doctors are not going and saying, because the politicians are also traveling, they're also going to spread this COVID. No, they're coming after the Canadian citizens in that one, and they are blaming you. So they can't blame the schools because they enforce the mask um, and the class restrictions and the online learning and all of that for the school. They can't blame that. They can't blame um, Costco, Walmart, all of those because they have the so-called measures in there. So if they were to blame the schools or the Walmarts, then it would be, oh, we were wrong. It would be an admission of wrongdoing on the Canadian government part or the, the government, wherever you are in your country, it would be an admission of guilt from the government. So they're not going to go that. So what is left is the citizen. So they're already coming out with articles blaming you. So you went to your family gathering. It's not you went to Costco with a hundred other people. It's you went to your family Christmas with four other people and you were at fault for spreading COVID. Not China who lied about it and let the disease escape. Not the way the government handled it from the beginning. Not the fact that now they're hiding the fact that it's not even as bad as we thought but they're already preemptively blaming you. It would be like going into a like rough neighborhood, grabbing some random 16-year-old and arresting him and saying, we're afraid that because of your upbringing in this rough neighborhood, you're going to commit a crime in the future, so we're going to arrest you now. It doesn't work that way. But yet now, in the newspapers, we're starting to see articles like that. It's completely unreal. These are, it's not journalism. Like, this would be like crystal ball predictions. It's not journalism. So how can a doctor who's supposed to be representing empirical theory, scientific method, now jump over into the side of, we think this is going to happen. It's a prediction that we can't prove yet, but we think it's going to happen. And we're going to already blame the Canadian citizen for that. You can see how now the, the, this is a pure blame propaganda against you. They need a scapegoat to, in, to get more measures into place in the future. They've already controlled the Costco's. They've already controlled the schools. They've controlled the small businesses by shutting them all down. And now they need the last kind of place to go is in your home. And they're coming for you. They're coming. They're coming for all of us. It's all of us. So it's going to first be the family gathering. So saying you didn't respect this, they're going to come out with further measures in the next few months. So just keep an eye out on that. Recognize that it's propaganda. We're in a full-blown psychological warfare. The government is declaring war on us, the citizens. Full-on psychological warfare. And the propaganda is amped up by doctors completely coming out of their lane, stay in the medical field, don't come in and, and lecture us on who we have to meet in our own homes. But now we see doctors doing that. So it's a very scary time, uh, very reminiscent of USSR and Nazi Germany. Um, if you're watching this on Monday, which it's Monday today, January 4th, um, I'm going to be doing a test live stream. So <laughs> it's going to be a test on DLive. I'll put out a notice on YouTube for this. But um, I'm going to test out a live stream on Wednesday at 8 p.m. So Wednesday, Jan 6, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're, if you're wanting to join me on that one, you are more than welcome to. But I'm going to do things like test out how it works, all the functionality and the sound and all that fun stuff. I'm going to try to get to a bit of content on that. So anyways, if you want to just come and hang out with me on that, I would love it. Even if it's a test, um, if, if you know it's a test, you'll be forgiving. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so, so anyways, um, and let me know what you think about this whole uh, article about the blame game that is happening right now. Um, let me know your thoughts. I really want to uh, read what you have to say on this. Um, and I thank you very much for staying all the way to the end of this video if you're still here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.